Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 28th of May 585 BCE, a solar eclipse during the Battle of Halys led to a truce between the kingdoms of Media and Lydia, making it the earliest historical event that can be precisely dated. The eclipse of Thales was recorded in the histories of the Greek historian Herodotus. He claims that the philosopher Thales of Miletus accurately predicted the eclipse in advance, marking what science writer Isaac Asimov later described as the birth of science. Herodotus writes that the Lydians under King Aliatis II and the Midis under Syaxes had been at war for five years over their competing interests in Anatolia. The spark for the war had been a desire for revenge over the killing of one of Syaxes' sons by nomadic hunters who was subsequently given protection by the Lydians. Having fought a series of indecisive battles in the preceding years, the two armies met again in 585 BCE, during which a solar eclipse took place. There is some doubt over Herodotus's claim that Thales predicted the eclipse in advance, especially as no records survive regarding exactly how he made his calculations and the fact that Herodotus was writing about a century after the events. However, the eclipse was also recorded in other accounts. It's described how suddenly the day became night, and that the warring armies interpreted this as an omen to stop fighting. The peace was sealed by Aliati's daughter marrying one of Syaxes' surviving sons. Later astronomers were able to pinpoint the exact date of historical eclipses using the same calculations that helped to predict future ones. By combining data of these ancient events with contextual knowledge of the Battle of Halys, the 28th of May 585 BCE was consequently identified as the most likely date. This makes the day of the battle a cardinal date, meaning that it provides a waypoint from which numerous other dates in the ancient world can be calculated. If you enjoy HistoryPod, please consider supporting it. You can find details at patreon.com forward slash historypod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play.